that bacon smells so freaking good like and i know she ain't talking to me like that he thought he ate give me that plate you know what's up y'all secure and i'm back with another video <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all pros and cons of working at McDonald's. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Akira and I've been working at McDonald's. It's going to make five years in December. I know that's a long time. But I have other videos on my channel about working at McDonald's. The first video ever that I posted about my job was like the hiring process and I also listed pros and cons too, but that video is two years old. And then I did a recent video, which is four months old. And I was just explaining the hiring process in more detail, simply because I am a hiring and scheduling manager as well, part of the hiring process as well. So I conduct like the first interviews, then I send them to my GM and she does the second interviews and you know she tells you if you're hired or not once y'all get hired i complete paperwork with the new hires making sure that all the documents are signed everything is turned in and they're all set to start in that video i really detail the hiring process a lot i have the pros and cons um in a list on my phone so let's just get straight into it so I want to start off with the cons, okay? Because every job has cons. Every job has cons. So I want to start off with the cons first so you get all the negative things out of the way and then we can move on to the more positive side. First con that I have about working at McDonald's is that it's usually part-time. Now I know there's some people who are looking for part-time jobs and there's some people who want full-time hours. If you want full-time hours, the only way not the only way but my store the only people that really give full-time hours are like morning people um people who are out of school so like they can work basically anytime especially in the morning time or if like you're a manager or special for the store maybe like maintenance McDonald's is usually part-time unless you're like a manager maintenance or like you're strictly mornings like you're out of school you have a wider availability part-time hours is usually less than 40 hours a week um, maybe even less than 30 hours a week just because McDonald's you tends to have like a very big staffing so you have to like divide the hours between all of that staff that's why McDonald's is usually part-time you could be full-time like I said it depends but one con is that McDonald's is usually a part-time job um, the second con is closing late on weekends so at my store on well, Monday through Thursday, the store closes at 12, okay? So if you're a sorry, the store closes at 11, Monday through Thursday. So if you're a closer, you're beginning off at 12. And on Friday and Saturday, my store closes at 12 a.m. So if you're a closer, you are be you will be getting off at 1 a.m. Now, I know that isn't a problem for most, especially like on the weekends, like, you know, maybe some people stay out late on the weekends already, so it's not a problem. But personally, for me, it's kind of a con for me because getting in the car late at night in the dark, um, out of your business, or just driving home late at night. Like, I know sometimes it's necessary, but I'd rather not do it just because of the fact that it's dangerous. You know, you're more vulnerable to get into car accidents. There's, like, drunk drivers at night, people driving crazy at night, or just, like, it's just dangerous in my opinion. So, there's one thing that I hate. If, like, you are, if you are a closer... Or, you know, just working in general at McDonald's, you have the possibility of getting off, like, late at night or just, you know, late hours in general. Like I said, I know it's a job. Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. But I personally, that is a con for me, which is getting off late and just closing so late. My third con of working at McDonald's is that McDonald's can be a messy environment. And I'm talking about messy, kind of like toxic, only because McDonald's tends to hire like a lot of teenagers. Like I said, it's a usual part-time job, so usually like high schoolers 
usually work at McDonald's, especially the night crew. So it can get kind of like drama filled or a little messy because, you know, sometimes, you know, they're high schoolers, they tend to kind of like talk about each other, you know, or they could have like beef that could be carried on to the job. It's a lot. So sometimes it can be a toxic workplace, you know, like I said, it could be anywhere as well. Any workplace could be toxic. Just kind of like stay to yourself, you know, don't talk about nobody, don't, talk, don't gossip. Don't spread rumors and just kind of keep to yourself and really don't engage in the drama and you should be fine. Another con that I have is the temptation to eat. Me, personally, I like to eat. And just being around food all day, like it just, you want to just like pop another knee in your mouth, you know? You want to just hurry up and fix you a burger and eat it. You want to fix you a milkshake. You want to fix you a sundae. You want to fix you a frappe. Just knowing that you're just able to pick it up and eat it or just hurry up and make it and do it and eat it, the temptation to eat will be there. But some people, they feel like, you know, they've been working at McDonald's for so long, they don't like the food anymore, but that's not me. I don't know, I don't know why, like I said, I've been working there for almost five years and I still like crave McDonald's. Like I crave McDonald's breakfast for one, like, if I can eat their breakfast every morning, I think I, I I think I would. Like a big breakfast or something. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know what it is about it, but I really like the food. Like it hasn't really affected me yet, like working there so long. Like how could you eat that all the time? But I don't know. It's good. Especially the bacon. When the bacon first comes off of the grill, y'all. That bacon smells so freaking good. Like, and I love bacon. So, you know, it takes everything in me to not like just eat it on the spot, you know. I'll wait until I go on my break, okay, and I'll give me some food. But yeah, so the temptation to eat is like very real, very present, it's very there. You have to kind of like, you know, keep control of yourself, okay? The next con is that you work during most holidays. So my store is closed on Christmas and Thanksgiving. Most McDonald's are closed on Christmas though. Some th Thanksgiving, I'm not really sure about all stores, but every other holiday after that, you work like all the major other major holidays um we're open on so that's like one of the cons but if you're like a crew member it's easy to take off for times like that but yeah so it's kind of sucky to see like i know a lot of state businesses you know they close on almost every holiday you know that's nice i just wish we could close for more holidays because some holidays like the fourth of july like a lot of people are barbecuing or just away camping and like they're most likely you know with their family cooking they're like i said most likely grilling so i feel like on the we get slower businesses on those days anyway so i just feel like it doesn't really have to be open at all on certain holidays but it is what it is the next con is the possible burnout that you can experience like i said working there for a long time or just having like a lot of bad days can like burn you out really quickly and i'm talking about like dealing with negativity from any um rude customers some people calling out like it just comes out to can be really stressful especially like if you're in a rush you know if like you're holding on food for some reason you know you're short staff and then like some of the customers they don't understand that we really do go through things sometimes like if the business is slow there's always a reason for it and most of the time, like, it's not us. Most of the time, it's something that's out of our, like, control. Like, we're short staff. We probably tried to call everybody in the book to come in, you know? A lot of people don't want to come in on a day off. A lot of people don't want to stay late because they're kind of tired, you know? So, like I said, you can experience burnout from either being, like, overworked all the time, just having a lot of negative days, a lot of negative customers, a lot of rushes that, like, don't end well, things like that. So, yeah, you could experience burnout with working at mcdonald's and other jobs so you just have to make sure you know like if you want to continue working there you know just to take days off that's needed just to get yourself together maybe ask someone to take your shift for the next day just to kind of get you know just take a break from the environment if you start to feel burnout next time that i have is unreliable co-workers like i said so most people not all not all most people that work at mcdonald's or like high schoolers or teenagers so, you know, they tend to call out. Sometimes it's real, sometimes it's fake. You know, sometimes they just do no calls, no shows, you know, just don't show up at all. So it's like, if you're at work, 
you know, like I said, it's about being sharp staff. So now you're sharp staff. Now no one wants to come in. So it's like, if one person is sharp staff or a few people are sharp staff, the whole store is probably gonna feel it. Okay, and that's just what I hate about it too. Cause you know, like I said, most people who work at McDonald's are young. And not always, but you know, younger people tend to be more unreliable than older people. Not in all cases. I'm just saying that, you know, it's how it usually is. It's something you have to keep in mind. But you know, sometimes, even if you try staff, sometimes it still works out. You know, everybody just has to pull their weight. Sometimes they have to do like extra, but at the end, as long as it's like, the optimal goal is just to run a smooth shift and for everybody to be happy and just like feel okay about their shift, okay? Cause you don't want anyone else like walking out from the stress or anything. And the last con that I have is that McDonald's can be a noisy environment, okay? With all of the beeps um, going on from like the fry station, the grill, the drink machine, various people talking at once, all the customers, you know, maybe kids in the lobby. McDonald's can be very, very noisy. There's just a lot of noise stimulation um, areas and things going around like constantly. Like I can hear the quarter pound of bell in my ear right now just by thinking about it, you know? So you, it'll, it can be noisy. It's, like if it's slow, then it might not be as noisy. But especially when it's busy or lunchtime, it can be, it can be a lot, you know? But as you get used to working over there, you kind of just tone it out, you know? Sometimes my fries may be going off and I don't even hear it because like I'm so used to it. So yeah, you can eventually like learn to tone it out and everything. So that's not really as big of a problem. Okay. So now that we're done with the cons, let's get into the pros. Okay, let's try to lighten up the mood a little bit. Cause like I said, all jobs are going to have cons. So not just McDonald's, but there was just a few that were like cons to me. Okay. So the first pro that I have is tuition assistance. So I'm in college right now and I've used tuition assistance twice. I think you just um, can look up tuition assistance McDonald's and then the website should appear and it goes through all the steps of how you should apply for it and like how much you could potentially get. It gave, I think my first time I applied, they gave me, I want to say $2,000, but it goes, you know, directly to your tuition or your books. So they give you a check. If you get approved, they um, mail you a check Um, the cashier's office. But yeah, so the check is made out directly to your school. So it's not like you just get the money, okay? So, but you know, at least you're getting something. So the check is made out directly to the school and it can either be put, you know, towards your tuition, towards your books or whatever you need it for, you know, school-wise. You do have to turn in certain documents just so they can like clarify that like you're in school and just to determine how much you're getting. Like I said, just go on tuition assistance, McDonald's, and it should show, the website should appear and should detail the steps on how to apply. So the next pro is discounts and crew meals. Okay, so at my store, um, if you come to work on time, you know, fully clothed, you had a good day, you know, no write-ups, no bad attitudes, you get a free crew meal per day. So you can either get this crew meal um, whenever you're going on break or at the end of your shift. I never really saw anyone get it before, but I'm pretty sure you can get it before your shift. So, so yes, at my store, we only do one meal. And at my store, you can only get certain things. Like for example, um, you can get a quarter pounder, but you can't get a double quarter. A double cheeseburger meal, but you can't get a bacon McDouble meal, okay? Stuff like that. So I don't know if all stores have like maybe um, price limits on the whole meal, like limitations. Ours does, but you still um, are able to have a free meal every day as long as you came to work on time, you know, and did what you had to do. No problem. And also with the discounts, I believe on the McDonald's mobile app, I don't really use the app like that, but if you like navigate through it or look it up, there is a way for you to like get like a code, I believe. And so like if you go to another McDonald's or even at the McDonald's that you work at, and you're paying for your food on your own, there's a code that you can give while you're ordering and it'll take a certain percentage off of your order just for being um, a McDonald's worker. So I've seen some people use that as well, but me personally, I haven't really looked into it. I really should, but yeah, so that's 
a second pro. Another pro is that we get raises every six months. So my show up, that's at every store, but at my store we get raises every six months. My GM evaluates us on like our progress and just, you know, um, our um, work ethic, our behaviors, and it determines how much of a raise that you get. For the crew, I think it's between maybe 15 cents and 30 cents. Um, it all depends on your performance. And I'm a, I'm a shift manager. Um, ours is a slightly a few cents higher, but yeah, so it's basically how it goes. They just um, rate you, the manager higher up, just rates you on your performance and your progress, and you should be able to get a raise um, every six months. The next thing I included as a pro, because it can be a pro in a certain sense. So I put working with the public, okay? So this is a pro, it can be a con, and it can also be a pro. So I believe that it is a pro because it can teach you customer service skills. If you had any um, customer service experience prior, it can teach you those needed skills over time. Also, dealing with like rude or angry customers can really teach you how to keep your composure, control your emotions when talking to other people. Like, I know at first, the first time you experience it, you may be like, I know she ain't talking to me like that. I know he, did he just say that? He thought he ate? Give me that plate, you know? That's what you're gonna wanna do, okay? But over time, you're gonna be like, okay, I dealt with this, you know, a little bit too much, you know? I'm not gonna let them ruin my day. Let's just see what the problem is, let's fix it. They're not cooperating, get a higher up, okay? They're gonna handle it. So I just teach you how to deal with people in the real world because you're not gonna only experience negative people or angry people at your job, okay? Baby, they everywhere. It's just the world nowadays. It's like, nobody wanna be nice anymore. Okay, so it just teaches you how to like deal with real world issues and like, you know, people that you may encounter in the future. Next, McDonald's is a pro if you like working in fast paced environments. Like I said, during the lunch time, maybe some hours later at night, and like the breakfast rush. So there's like three points or more where you can have like a big rush. So if you like things moving fast, if you like kind of running around, you know, dropping fries, you know, making ice cream, making ice cream, making drinks, making macchiatos, frappes, you know, um, making all the sandwiches, bagging all the orders. If you like just moving to make the time go by faster and just like staying busy, McDonald's is the place for you. We have job moments, okay? But when those, when those busy moments kick in, baby, they kick and you're gonna be like, oh man, like I don't want no more customers today. Sometimes how it feels, but if you like fast paced environment and just like, you know, working your head out, girl, that's the, or boy, that's the place for you, okay? This is the place for you. The next pro that I have is that McDonald's tends to have like a bigger staff. So I'm talking about like 60 plus um, people, like work, not working all together in one building, but you know, working for one building, one establishment. So especially if you're just like a crew, it's easier for you to like request off dates and have a better chance of getting it because there most, more likely will be someone else that can be able to take your spot. Or if you just like, you know, you have something come up, you need someone to take your shift, you have a variety of people that you can probably get into contact with to see if they can take your shift. One of the pros is that McDonald's has such a big staff that if you need to request off, you probably will be able to get your dates off. Um, and if something came up and you just need to be off of work today, you can probably find someone to take your shift just because you have a lot of people that you can ask. Another pro is that it's easy to move up in position. I started working at McDonald's in 2018 as a crew member. After I graduated high school in 2021, I got promoted to a shift manager. So, um, I moved up at my store, you have to wait until you graduate high school. So, uh, you know, I had to wait until I graduated high school and then I became a shift manager. Um, I only work part-time because I am in school right now. Y'all know I'm in college. Higher up, see that like, you're a good worker, have good work ethics, you know, always there on time. You know, just a good, reliable worker in general. You show good leadership skills. You seem very mature, like you can, you know, handle certain situations. 
it's so easy to move up and more too so you know accruing a manager of course a manager would get paid more so it's like while you're still young you know just like starting out the money is really good especially if you work full time okay so the money is really good maybe more than like what you're even used to so it's very easy to move up as long as you show you know that potential the next pro that i have is that mcdonald's is a, is a very good place if you need um a flexible schedule because like i said um most positions are part-time so it would allow you to have a very flexible schedule i know my gm she works with me and i'm like so grateful for that you know because i'm in school and so she gives me certain day i only work a few days a week and she like accommodates that and we know that a lot of our co-workers are you know high schoolers so they have sports you know they have classes they have sports that they attend to organizations that they're in so we are very flexible and we do adhere to their schedule so a lot of fast food places um will adhere to especially like you know the high schooler schedule and everything we're just able to provide a more flexible schedule like i said because of all the workers that we have as well and since it's usually part-time you know it's easy you know we know that we're not that we don't have to give you 40 hours or we don't like typically need you for the full 40 hours a week so it's easy to be more like lenient and flexible with your schedule and the last pro that i have is on the job training as you know most fast foods you know especially mcdonald's you don't need any um <laughs> required experience or anything you get on the job training as soon as you start your first day you know they're going to train you in whatever areas that you're going to be working in and you know you just develop your skills and learn from there every job doesn't offer on the job training some jobs you have to come in with like prior experience and everything so it's just very good that you get on the job training and you do get paid for your training days so yeah y'all that's the end of today's video i wanted to film in my youtube room today but my neighbors are playing music outside and i didn't want that to be like in my video i want i want y'all to hear me you know loud and clear so yeah y'all anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kissed